Right, hi. Um, a quick video for you because I just wanted, I'm not getting much stitching done really on these things, just let me, I'm in natural light, I hope it's bright enough, it is quite a nice day. Um, this one you saw yesterday and I just added that, well, they're all creased now, that's not good. I just added that and that and that. This one you haven't seen for a few days, I haven't done anything else to that. All I've done to that is that. Okay, and this one, you've even longer since you saw this one, so I've still got to work on that. Those are all going to be pockets, um, like the pockets I made, if you remember, when I was making my handkerchief cloth a while ago. And they're all going to be for sale, but like the books, don't hold your breath. Because what I'm doing really in the background that I can't show you, this is my ironing board, is working frantically trying to get things finished for class because it finishes next week. Um, so, but I did think, because I was working on this last night, and I just love this fabric. So I thought I might see if I can put something together with that and some whites. So that's what I'm going to do now, hopefully. I've got that fabric out, I've got some broderie anglaise, and I've got some new white stuff that I bought, that I thought would be good as a filler. Somebody recommended this to me, and it really is lovely, so it might make a nice surface mixed with these two. So I'm probably not going to say very much, apart from rubbish, because um, again, I never ever want to give too much away because of people in my class um, who've paid for certain information that I can't give out free. So what I'm going to do, and ignore my iron, I've got a new iron, right? This one, if you can see the bottom, the bottom looks disgraceful, but it doesn't come off. It's not, you know, it, it, I can't wash it off and it doesn't come off on my ironing. But I'm a bit out of love with my new iron because it doesn't seem to get hot enough for me. So if you see the bottom of this one, don't recoil in horror because you can see it's not transferring on the fabric. So, but I'm not going to show you the bottom freely. I'm not going to advertise the fact that I'm a bit of a tramp. Um, so if I cut that about there, hopefully it won't take me too long to just put something together here. I've got a 10 minute window today because there's nobody about. So I thought rather than frantically try and stitch something so that you've got something new for the blog, that isn't straight. I thought I'd cut it up those circles but so I thought rather than frantically stitch a few bullion knots on something and rush something, I would do this, try and put something together in quick time. So that's that piece. Now then, I think I'm going to fold this up. I love this fabric, I should have bought more. I mean I did buy a metre, yeah that's what I love it that much, I fear it's not going to last very long. So we'll have some of this new stuff. I might just have three strips, you know, on this. Might be enough because really, the uh, titivation will enhance it, won't it? And there may come a point that I'll add bullion knot. Sorry, um, Prairie points, but then again, that's not set in stone. I won't definitely do that. Bit of this lovely white. It's just got a bit of faint patterning in the background of this one. Put that over there, and then put that like that. Now you would think that because the circles on here be able to line it up straight but it's not always the case with me. Pin, pin, pin. Now I also need to damp stretch. Those pieces I've shown you, the green one, that one, and that one, and that one for tomorrow so that I can take pictures of my blog with this. So 
I might do one of them in a minute and then it'll be dry before I go to bed. And then I'll maybe get the other two done just before bedtime because that one should be dry. Right, so that's that. Well, let's get some of this beautiful broderie on glaze that somebody kindly sent me. And we'll just have a little bit of that. So pretty boring really, pretty straightforward piece in. I think this is the wrong side. But I'll sort that out in a minute. Oh no, no. That's it. Because I need to cut that end bit off. Then what I'll do, oh, which is, I think that's all right side. And again, well, I've got a line there, so surely even I can get that straight. And then pin that, and that's it. So it needs to be stitched now the stitching to go on but it's another one to put together I do have a week between classes where I'm hoping to make progress with these um, even though I am going to have to work on some class stuff the thing with this pin pull all right I love it but there's so much blingy stuff going on on it it's difficult sometimes to identify the pin um, I've gone through the towel. I should really have a board under here to assist with the pinning. But it's literally just a quick five minutes, hopefully, like seven minutes now. So there. So that's that. So I need to start titivating that now. But I just wanted to see how that lived with white and with texture. So that'll be four I've got on the go. Three, four. Okay, so hopefully by tomorrow they'll be damp stretched and gorgeous, ready for photographs to go on my blog. Um, 